In today's video, we're going to be talking about a tool that makes dealing with web fonts unbelievably easy. This incredible tool is called transfonter.org, and it makes transforming any form of font into web accessible, web usable fonts incredibly easy. I ran across this just a few weeks ago and thought it was absolutely amazing and had to share it with you guys. So it's incredibly easy to use. All you need to do is click add fonts, choose the fonts you want to add. In our case, we're adding a bunch of different styles of font for Gotham rounded. And if we click open, it'll upload all of these different fonts. And then down here is where you can really customize how we want to download these different fonts as. Family support allows us to make all of the names of our fonts be exactly the same, in our case, Gotham rounded, instead of having them be called Gotham rounded medium, Gotham rounded medium italic, and so on. We have the add local rule to be using the local syntax to check the user's browser and a few other different settings. But for the most part, these defaults are all that you really need. Down here, you can choose the different formats you want to output. I'm just going to be outputting in both of the web formats, the web font one and the web font two for newer browsers. And then once you have all of that set, all you need to do is click convert up here and it'll convert all of your fonts into the different font styles that you want. And the best part is, is that it'll also create a style sheet for all of these different fonts. So if we click download, and once that finishes downloading, you'll see that we have a folder here that has all of the different fonts converted to the different font types that we selected, as well as a style sheet down here that has all of these different fonts imported inside of one style sheet. So we can just use this style sheet, change the URL based on where we actually put these fonts inside of our project. And now we have all of these fonts inside of our project without having to write any of this code or actually manually convert any of these font files. And that's really all there is to it. I highly recommend that you check this site out because it's made my life so much easier since I ran across it a few weeks ago, and I'm sure it'll make your life easier as well when dealing with custom fonts. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to check out my other videos which are linked over here, and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you guys very much for watching, and have a good day.